The United States is grappling with two interconnected issues. A surge in migration, and a record high number of people experiencing homelessness. With over 1.3 million individuals experiencing homelessness in 2023, according to the Department of Housing and Urban Development. However, some estimates suggest from 500,000 to 800,000 undocumented immigrants might be homeless, facing unique challenges like language barriers and limited access to resources. This video delves into the intricate relationship between migrants and homelessness in the United States, shedding light on the root causes, current scenarios, and potential avenues for positive change. Understanding the link the correlation between migrants and homelessness in the U.S. is multifaceted, encompassing economic, social, and policy-related factors. Migrants often find themselves in vulnerable situations, facing barriers to stable employment, affordable housing, and social integration. For some, the journey to a new country is fraught with challenges, leading to precarious living conditions, and in some cases homelessness. One significant factor is the economic struggle faced by many migrants, particularly those with limited resources and employment opportunities. The high cost of living, coupled with barriers to accessing stable employment and affordable housing, can push migrants into precarious living situations. Limited access to social services and support networks may further exacerbate their risk of homelessness. Additionally, migrants may face legal and documentation challenges, which can limit their access to certain jobs and services. The fear of deportation or legal repercussions may deter them from seeking assistance or reporting unsafe living conditions, pushing them towards the margins of society. Discrimination and language barriers can also play a role, making it difficult for migrants to navigate the complex systems in place for housing assistance and social services. This can result in their exclusion from essential resources that could otherwise help prevent homelessness. The migrant influx. The migrant influx rate refers to the number of migrants arriving in a country over a specific period. There has been a significant increase in migrant arrivals since the lifting of pandemic-era border restrictions in May 2023. For instance over 2.4 million migrants have entered the U.S. seeking asylum in that time frame. This rise in migrant influx can be attributed to various factors, including political instability, economic hardship, and natural disasters in migrants' countries of origin. The migrant influx has been a focal point of public discourse, sparking debates on border security, immigration reform, and the nation's moral and legal obligations to those seeking refuge. Policymakers, advocacy groups, and communities are actively engaged in addressing the challenges associated with the influx striving to find a balance between enforcing immigration laws and upholding humanitarian principles. Influxes of migrants, asylum seekers, and refugees can overwhelm local resources, especially in border towns and major cities with established support systems. Data suggests a significant portion of shelter residents in cities like New York, Denver, and Chicago are now migrants. Shelters and social service agencies often operate with limited budgets and staff, making it difficult to adequately serve the growing number of people in need. This strain is often caused by a surge in people experiencing homelessness. The U.S. works with governments in Latin America to address the root causes of migration, such as poverty and violence. This includes providing humanitarian aid to the region. There are efforts to create legal pathways for migration, such as refugee resettlement programs and temporary work visas distribution of migrants the issue of migrant settlement in the u.s is complex border states which typically share a land border with mexico are the first point of arrival for many migrants this means they shoulder a significant burden in terms of processing migrants and providing initial support some people argue that a more even distribution of migrants across the country would be fairer and more efficient they believe it would spread the responsibility for providing housing health care and other services among all states. Opponents of even distribution worry that placing large numbers of migrants in areas with already limited resources could lead to a rise in homelessness. They argue that these areas may not have enough affordable housing or social services to adequately support an influx of new residents. Currently, states bordering Mexico, like Arizona and Texas, 
handle a large portion of the initial arrival of migrants. This constrained their resources as they provide housing, medical care, and other social services. Opponents of even distribution fear that placing large numbers of migrants in areas, with already limited affordable housing and social services could lead to a rise in homelessness. They argue that resources need to be allocated effectively to ensure a smooth integration process. There are several reasons why someone might support a more even distribution of migrants. First, it could help to ease the burden on border states. These states may not have the resources to effectively handle a large influx of migrants. Distributing migrants throughout the country would allow all states to share in the responsibility. Second, an even distribution could allow migrants to better integrate into American society. Migrants often have social networks in the places where they settle. Distributing migrants throughout the country could help them to connect with people from their home countries, which could ease the transition to a new life. Finally, an even distribution could allow migrants to access a wider range of opportunities. Migrants may have skills and experiences that are in demand in certain parts of the country. Distributing migrants throughout the country could help them to connect with those opportunities. Of course, there are also arguments against an even distribution of migrants. Some people may worry that migrants would strain the resources of communities that are not prepared for them. Others may argue that migrants should settle in places where they have family or friends. The issue of migrant distribution is a complex one. There are both pros and cons to consider. Strained shelters and services. The surge in migration has resulted in a significant strain on homeless shelters and social services, particularly in major cities across the nation. This increased influx has overwhelmed border towns responsible for processing arrivals. Once released, a substantial number of migrants are transported to cities, with existing support systems such as New York City, Denver, and Chicago. As a consequence, these metropolitan areas have witnessed a notable uptick in their homeless populations, directly attributed to the inclusion of migrants as a significant portion of shelter residents. The demand for shelter beds, food assistance, and social services has surged, posing challenges for organizations already grappling with limited resources. The strain on shelters is evident not only in increased occupancy, but also in the heightened demand for essential services. Homeless outreach programs are stretched thin as they strive to meet the diverse needs of this new demographic. Additionally, the strain extends to healthcare services, as migrants often arrive with unique health concerns that require attention and care. In order to address the strained shelters and services effectively, there is a pressing need for increased collaboration between local, state, and federal agencies, as well as nonprofit organizations, allocating additional resources, and implementing targeted support programs can help alleviate the burden on existing systems and ensure that both migrants and existing homeless populations receive the assistance they require for a smoother transition and integration. Housing crisis. In the United States, a pressing housing affordability crisis is sweeping across the nation, casting a shadow over both migrant and native communities. The soaring costs of rentals, coupled with a critical shortage of affordable housing options, have created formidable barriers for individuals seeking stable living arrangements, particularly impacting the migrant population. Recent data indicates a concerning trend, with a substantial percentage of migrants grappling with the burden of escalating housing costs. This not only hinders their ability to secure suitable accommodation, but also perpetuates the cycle of financial strain and uncertainty. Discriminatory practices and limited access to housing resources further compound these challenges, creating a formidable barrier for migrants striving to establish a sense of stability and security. Moreover, the shortage of affordable housing options contributes to an alarming increase in homelessness among both migrant and native communities, as individuals and families find themselves priced out of the housing market. The need for comprehensive and inclusive solutions becomes increasingly urgent. The migrants and homelessness crisis in the United States is a complex issue that requires a nuanced and comprehensive approach by understanding the interconnected factors influencing this crisis. Policymakers, community leaders, and citizens alike can work together to implement solutions that promote economic stability, affordable housing, and social integration for migrants. 
Only through a united effort can the U.S. hope to address this pressing challenge and create a more inclusive society for all.